In this series of PowerPoint presentations, you're going to learn about design factors. Design factors can be used to evaluate your ideas. The design factors that you need to learn include function, aesthetics, performance, ergonomics, and economics. The first design factor that we're going to look at is function. The function of a product is a job it was designed to do. Every product will have a primary function and some products will also have secondary functions. Consider, for example, a kettle. The primary function of a kettle is to boil water. But some kettles have secondary functions, like, for example, this one has a secondary function and its secondary function allows you to see the amount of water that's in the kettle. This secondary function helps to make the product more appealing to the consumer. Fit for purpose is an important aspect of the design factor function. Products that have similar functions may work differently under different conditions. Consider, for example, a camping stove. Would a camping stove be suitable for cooking a three course meal for six people? The answer to that question is clearly no, it wouldn't. A camping stove does not have the capabilities to be able to do that job properly. And this illustrates the importance of a product being fit for purpose. Having presented the main points that you need to remember in relation to function, the first task I would like you to do is as follows. In your e-journal, copy down the following notes on function. These include the primary function of a product is the job it was designed to do. Secondary functions are additional functions that add extra appeal for the consumer. Fitness for purpose is matching the product function to the conditions in which it is used. Task 2. Evaluate five products in relation to function. In this task, you need to copy and paste pictures of five different products into your OneNote journal. For each picture product, write an evaluation of that product in relation to how it functions. Let's look at an example. On the slide, we have a picture of a soup ladle. This picture was copied and pasted from the internet. Underneath this picture, we have a paragraph that attempts to evaluate the soup ladle in relation to how it functions. It says, the amount of soup that can be held in one ladle full is good. This helps to reduce the amount of time needed to fill a bowl. It also has a secondary function of being able to stand inside the bowl. This will help to make the ladle stand out from other ladles, making it more attractive, thereby increasing sales. So that shows you what you have to do for each of the five products that you select from the internet. 